Hey guys, it's Neil from Gadget here with iPhone OS 4.0 on a 3GS. It was a little, little scary getting it installed, but we figured it out. Uh, so let's run through some of the features. Obviously the big one is going to be multitasking. Um, there it is, there's a little dock. You can see all the apps you have going. Um, let's you know, open Safari. As far as loading in Gadget, uh, we can let it keep doing that while we jump into, uh, say, Notes. Here, here's some Notes. Um, I can jump back into Game Center. That's a new app. Um, this doesn't really do much because nobody else is on it, but you, if you sign into it, uh, I don't have my email address shown here. If you sign into it, you can invite friends and see what your friends are up to. Um, I don't have any friends, so I'm just taking out of faith. And we can jump back into Safari and Gadget's still loading. Um, we can go from here into Photos, look at some of the new features there, Events and Places. These are probably going to work exactly the same as the, on the iPad. So Faces won't recognize Faces, it'll just bring them in from your computer, which does the hard work for you. Um, what else is cool? Uh, you can create new playlists in iPod, but I don't have any content on here. Uh, the camera has a zoom control, which is pretty slick. So uh, here it is. You can see it. There's a zoom slider. It doesn't pinch to zoom. You have to slide it. So you can see I'm sliding. I'm zooming. That's a pretty decent macro, actually. Uh, not wonderful, but decent enough. Uh, there's now um, tap to focus in video. It's hard to show in a, on this video, so I won't do that. Uh, another cool feature. Bluetooth keyboards, which you might have saw me try out a minute ago. Um, pretty simple, you just turn it on. We've got another keyboard here. Same one I actually paired to the iPad. Um, same process um, if you saw that video. So now I can go into notes, go here. I can actually hit select all, uh, delete, and I can try again. Uh, here's stuff. Bluetooth and spelling. Um, yeah. Pretty sweet, dudes. Uh, totally works. Um, if you press escape, you bring up the software keyboard. I think this is going to be pretty big for the accessory market. I think we'll see a lot of smaller Bluetooth keyboards. Uh, one thing, if you do walk away from the keyboard, you can't bring up the software keyboard uh, from the device itself. So you have to remember to turn off Bluetooth if you walk away from a paired keyboard. Uh, what else? Mail has... Uh, um, uh, threaded messaging that I have yet to see, Unified Inbox that I've yet to see. I'm hoping that I see it eventually, but I'm not seeing it right now. I guess I have to set some settings for that. Uh, folder organization here. Uh, I can just grab an app. Oh, real quick, speaking of grabbing apps. Um, in the dock here, if I want to get rid of an app, uh, you know, Steve Jobs said you blew it if there's a task manager, but there is some task manager. You just hold down here. You can see a minus key, and you can get rid of it. So uh, Apple blew it, everyone. That's the end of that. So uh, <laughs> uh, there's also the folders. Um, so you can grab an app here. I can drag it to another app. I've made a folder. Or I can fail to do that. Man, iTunes hates voice memos. Breaking news. Uh, I made a folder called business. I don't know why I, iTunes and voice memos uh, fall under the business category, but clearly they do. Um, I can take that right out of there. and it's out of there, and now iTunes is lonely in the business folder, take it out, folder disappears. Um, so those, I mean, those are the highlight features. Um, there's some you know, other stuff, you know, tell us what you want to see, we'll get to it. That's really the big stuff right now, um, and we'll obviously, we're going to keep playing with it. I'm going to sync this stuff up and get some content on it. We'll go through the iPod stuff uh, and see if there's anything cool there. But yeah, those are the highlights. Let us know what else you want to see.